Hello and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2! Anyway, yes, let us man. quickly not assign anything because I thought we had a project, but never mind. Let us continue then. Let us continue then. Yes, I know there's a supply drop and I know there's intel missions, I don't care. Like, before I uh, brought you in to record, it was like, oh, by the way, uh, you got a mission, by the way, that uh, you, need, you need to get some intel. That, that's essentially what we're saying. We need, you need to get intel. I'm like, no, man, it's, it's not as easy as you think to think. I don't care. Also, I don't really need until I have enough intel. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, I've got plenty of intel. I mean, the only thing I would use the intel for is the black market, which is partially an idea. Oh, of course. What is it? Continue to make progress on the Avatar eh, project. Whatever. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We're gonna hit them hard soon. It's all good. Uh continue your training, Crow. Uh get yourself mm. Mm, Get yourself insanity. It's not as useful as a full-on uh, stasis, but it's still really damn good. Oh, sweet. Another blaster launcher. That's perfect. I'm happy with that. Uh, one plasma blaster. What? Uh, using technology adapted from the alien's own plasma weaponry, we've devised the means of releasing massive... A uh, focused pulse of plasma energy that will devastate targets on a fixed path. Oh. Actually, it does sound re rather cool. Oh, wow. Eleven enemies. Okay, we'll think about that in a wee second. Spare parts, uh, proving grounds, costs are reduced. We'll do that, I guess. We'll not do that, I guess. Uh. We need to get our supplies now, I think about it. Avenger plotting new Once course. we get our supplies, we will th probably not build a radio relay right now, but instead uh, take out that facility and then we'll think about radio facilities. And the links? Uh, get yourself... Um... Yeah, get Solus. Um, and in the meantime, we'll continue gathering our supplies, finally. I, uh, fine, let's see. You don't care, I don't care, and... I don't care. Honestly, I don't care about the targets. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, ignore flying back. Ignore the new stuff. I don't care. <clears throat> and let us... You know what? Let us actually go for the Codex break. Oh, wow. 15. Including Archon, Mutons, Heavy Mechs, Hey Elite Lancers and Elite Troopers, as well as Chrysalids. You know what well, that isn't that bad really. Setting course for Chile. Chile? Chile? What are words Chile? Oh we're going to Chile. Also, why did you orbit the planet like twice? Oh whatever. <laughs> Um, why is it bringing you again, Jammer? I've got Scythia. Why do I need Jammer? Oh, whatever. Um, can you please grab the Plasma Blaster Tiber? Um, Gale, you can grab the Hellfire Projector. 
Uh, Alucard is not in the mission for some reason. I'm guessing he's injured. Uh, Daniel, you can get off now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Alucard, get on here. Uh, you keep the blaster launcher. Ah, uh, Sergei, let's see. Uh, we will customize your armor, Sergei. Oh, uh, well, Wharton. Didn't really want to give you the war suit, but I guess it's better than no armor. And take a battle scanner, please. May as well also take the blister launcher. As for your weapon in and of itself, we will give you... Uh, well, actually, one minute. Let's see what Gale has. Because you have the ability to just ignore armor and the likes, while Gale has to deal with armor. And missed shots. First off, uh, do we have a storm gun that's upgrading? No, not really. Oh, no, wait, there is. There is. There we go. Okay, Sergei. You can take the one that we just unequipped. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. You can take that one. Which has a repeater, chance for instant kill, and a stock. It's quite a good rifle. Um, yeah, that's good, I think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I possibly want. One minute, let's have a look at your abilities. I may actually think about changing your abilities at some point. And essentially just run you down this tree fully. <sighs> hmm. Oh, we'll think about that afterwards. Anyway, uh, let us get moving then. Don't mind me, I'm just going to skip cutscenes because I, I don't care. I've seen them too many times now. I'll watch this one though, because we're actually going to be landing on the place. Shen and Tigan barely managed to pull these coordinates from that codex thing they had down in the shadow chamber. We're guessing this may be I love how hard you found it to say the word codex. Based on the fight it put up, I'd expect heavy resistance either way. Good luck down there. Okay, thank you. And yeah. This should be interesting. The target coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. Opposition is masked. Oh, I'm mostly expecting the worst. 90% of the time, I'm expecting the worst. Okay. Get that out there. Uh, Gale, first off, move, move there. If you detect nothing, then move hither. Okay, Alucard. Wish I knew where the enemy was. Move there. Scythia, we still haven't seen any of them. Move there. If we move a couple of people and still don't see anyone, I'm probably going to censor. Like, I uh, use scanning protocol. Get it done. Because I'm already a bit dubious about how little we've seen. Double time. I'm on it. Overwatch. Huh. We have Chris Luke for the sound of it. Oh, 
Are they buttering? I think they're buttering. Hmm. I wish I knew if that was natural behaviour for them or if that was something they only do when they think they're in com or are going to be in combat. Well, I guess time will tell where they are. Okay, we have something. That's affirmative. Okay, you know what? Run and gun because I don't trust it. Orders and over there. Okay, just over watch then. Intriguing. I've got enemy movement here. That's cool. That's three of the like fifteen if I remember right. Uh, Scythia, move to the corner of the map. Uh, Warden. Move quite close to Scythia, not on her tail, but quite close to her. Um, move there, timer. Oh, you're the last one? Okay. Oh, okay. Not that bad, actually. I thought they were going to come straight at me, and I was like, oh, well. That's a thing that happened. <clears throat> yeah, move there, Sergi. Move there, crow. Uh. Okay, you know what? Scythia. Put that trigger. No, it doesn't. Right. Scanning protocol. Oh, apparently there's nothing nearby. Oh, that'll hit all of them? No, oh, we can't see what all will hit now. Uh, hmm. Ooh. <laughs> It'll take out basically the cover, but... I'm kind of curious what it is. Ah, uh, let's not do it, though. Let's be sensible. <sighs> Jeez, so dull being sensible and the likes. Nah. Cool. Nice crit with a... Uh, what do you call it? An officer? I believe it's an officer right away. Uh, that's fine. Uh, hmm. Uh, Gail, move there. really good chance to hit. Well, have a look at it in a wee second. First off, Scythia, I know to think about it, because there's a reason we have someone with combat protocol. Not just for show, but, you know, to do things like this, instantly. Right. Uh... Let's try and dominate someone better. No? Right, Soul Flare, then. On you. you. 
Good job. <laughs> I love how it looks like he tripped up or something. Impressed yet? Eh, reasonably. You know. Bang. Seriously, that just looks like a really aggressive uh, rifle. Target asset sighted. It's like the angriest rifle in history. I don't like the, uh, the sound of it running around and scary. Ah, uh, I'm not likey. Whatever you say. Uh, is there mods that actually affect your will? Like, stims that affect your will? Because that probably would be a lot more useful. For psychers. I keep calling them psychers. I'm too war used to Dawn of War, I'm guessing. Uh, move there, please, timer. Right, Sergei. Uh... Move there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Fine, move there, Gale. Where are they? Also, what is with all this blue? I thought about it at the very start, but now I'm starting to get a bit more dubious about it. Like, this shit is not natural. We know this already, but this is really not natural. Like, we've gone past the point of, this is not natural, into the point of, what the hell is going on, because this is way past natural. Hmm. Unfortunately, there's no great cover, because we basically destroyed it all, to be no honest. Problem, Theoretically, they don't get to attack in their first turn, so standing overwatch just to prove that you aren't being left out here to die, we'll do what Hannibal did and we'll stand next to you. Because Hannibal actually did something really cool. He basically went and uh, surrounded a lesser army, a larger army with a lesser army. He uh, put his weakest soldiers in the center and his strongest ones in the flank, right? And he started with a line formation. Um, so essentially he started with a line formation and I think, I cannot remember what ones of the Romans he was fighting, but he was fighting one of the Romans. Uh, who had a massive army about two or three times the size. At least that's what I was told. It might be hyperbole at this point. But anyway, that's beside the point. So there's two lines of soldiers, one that's like twice the width, and we have enemies here somewhere. And one that was smaller, so what he did is he put his strongest men on the flanks, and his weakest units in the centre. But the centre units uh, thought normally in this time they would think we are just cannon fodder essentially. But anyway, so he put his weakest in the centre. And I'm really not liking silence suddenly. Scythia, where are you? There you go. Please scan. But anyway, so his men didn't actually route. What he did is this is. Oh boy. Um, let's continue story time another time, shall we? Um, huh. Hmm. Oh. You know what, we'll do insanity. <laughs> Why did you sound like a drunkard there? Man, are you alright? I, I just don't know, man. 
Well, that's actually really quite cool. Good job. Uh, move there, William. Gale. William Gale. You know. Uh, let's see. We'll go for the 83, I think. Ooh. Heavy damage, no kill. Well, the arm is not that tough. It's just, you know, you weren't lucky with a kill. Or a shot. Seems doable. Come on. Nice job. Uh, what we'll try and do is we'll get... No, 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 no. We need to get Scythe out. Ish. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything right now. Scythe, yes, sit there. Warden, make your way there. And pop him. No, you're not going to pop him. Thanks. Damage him, though. Oh, hey. Hey, what the hell is that? No, I see this. There, that's what I was looking for. Yes, it's my kill! Ah! No, it's my kill! Oh, wow. Hey. I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this time. It's not the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. Oh. It could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. You could have stood right next to the portal. That would have been really nice for me. Oh, oh hey, Butterwar. Don't poke me, I'm your friend! <laughs> oh, what am I on? I have no idea. That looks like I'm even on anything. Just something. This is just like, I'm guessing me naturally. Just weird as shit. I don't know. I'm weird. Okay, deal with it. I don't know. Words. Bar, 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 bar. Right, so. Wow, I can't really do anything, which is kind of sad. Well, we have a 77% chance to take it. Well, it's a hit, which is fine. That didn't do much. Oh, see if you can just tank, even if it's just rogue tanking, that would be so s- never mind. Because if he could have rogue tanked, he could have just distracted all of them while I get ready to just grenade and other things them. You know, what they're doing is actually really good formation for grenade and other things in them. I don't like that though. Timer. Ugh, yes, that was bad. Ouch. Crap. I'm sorry about that. I'll try and do better. Uh, hmm. Whatever you say. Move up there. Right. You could finish those two off. Is there a way I can strike all three of these? No. Not the way I've done that. Right. Ugh. We could get Gale with a flame forward to do that. Alucard, um... Well, you know what? We did find out that that thing can be poisoned a couple of episodes back. So... Poison as many as you can. Good. 
Good job. And after that, just hit up here. Actually, what is that? 7 to 8? 7 to 10. Oh, come on. Please? Game? Come on. Game. Game, 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 game. I know there's a lot of particles, but there's really not enough to make my computer cry like this. I mean, most of them are just a uh, filter over the screen, essentially. So, you know, really don't need to be doing that game. Right, so, Tyber. Uh, first off, Warden. Uh, move back here, please. And then get Tyber back up to health, because he cannot take another hit like that. Yeah. Heal him up. It was bad, to say the least. Okay, Tiber. Show me your war face, so to speak. <laughs> nice. I really do like that. That was cool. I uh, will think about that afterwards. How's our domination chance? Quite bad. Okay. Let's not think about that then. Fire that up there. Cool. No more armor for you. Uh, we'll run into our poison, which is the only issue. We could run and gun ourselves up there. Probably best not to though. Just move there. Okay, five to six damage. That's good. Then we'll get Tiber to get his revenge. Tiber! You like revenge, don't you? Tis not a dish served cold, seeing as how there's many plasma grenades flung at it, so enjoy. Alas, I should say enjoy, but you know. You got the kill. Right, Scythia, make your way there. But yeah, so as I was saying, Essentially, uh, Hannibal, I believe it was Hannibal anyway, I could be slightly wrong with who it is, but essentially uh, two armies in a line, one line is massive compared to the other one, uh, but he saw that the weakest formation that Hannibal had brought with him was uh, the central lines. So he thought maybe he can just hit the central lines, they'll run and buckle really quickly and just that'll be the fight over, we can just all go home and start running down the enemy. So, they go and hit the centre line, the centre formation, uh, but Hannibal had already expected this, predicted this, and he had literally designed this whole scenario. So, essentially he falls back the um, middle formation as if they were retreating, expands out the wings of his force, and then brings them round. So imagine this tree is the uh, army that uh, the Romans had. The tree uh, just got narrower and narrower, but the force got wider and wider. The small tiny force got wider and wider and just circled round. Until this massive force didn't matter that it was a massive force, because we're slowly getting crowded in and corralled in the way. Some people actually even killed themselves before they got there. At least some, that's how some of the tales go. But alas, I have no idea if that is actually true. I'm just pretty sure it is. Fascinating, though, that idea. Anyway, uh... Move there, Scythia. And just overwatch. Tiber, make your way over here. Right, cool. I'm on it. Right. I, I hope so. 
you're merely just moving from one location to another. Uh, let's see. Alucard, move there. Do we have to secure it? Neutralize all hostiles defending the psionic gate. Well, I guess that means we don't actually have to destroy it, obviously. Not a problem. Oh god. Uh, move their side here. Ah, I hate chrysalids. Uh, you are a. Oh no, Scythia, please, no. <laughs> I've seen that. Oh, bloody hell. Ah, bloody hell. Heal up, Scythia, please. Right. Oh, you've already moved, haven't you? Yes, you have. <sighs> Fiddlesticks. That's so flaming annoying. Quietly. I really don't. Oh. It's not going to be a kill, though. That's the only thing. Oops. We'll get to that in a moment. We'll need fiddlesticks. We can't do that either. Because the blast radius is too wide. Shoot. Come on, there must be a way of solving this. You know, the where there is a will, there is a way type thing. Uh, I've got a way. Theoretically, it should work. Gale's still going to end up poisoned, which I do not mind, because we still have one person with anti-poison, essentially. There you go, do that. Good job. And then finish it off. The armor. Good job with the burning, though. The burning sensation is chlamydia. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's terrible. Uh. Sorry about that, my fingers are just clicking because well, they're stiff. And I'm also kind of deliberately clicking them because they are stiff. Healer mode. Ah, come on. Uh, Tiber, make your way here, I guess. Go, go, go. Got it covered. Sailing portal, though. Something else. On the move. Right, Alucard, make your way there. Uh, Gale, I guess, make your way up Moving and over the portal. Um, how are we meant to secure it? I thought this would have been secured. No. Scanning. There's no hostiles defending the psionic gateway! I'm so confused! Scythia, heal thyself! Okay. Right. Warden. Sprint as quick as possible. 
I wish I knew what the bloody hell was going on. Uh, Tyro, stand there. Hmm. Overwatch. Well, if you know there's enemies, why don't you tell me their bloody location? It makes it so much easier. Make your way up there, Gale. <sighs> Can I just say I'm not a fan? Ugh. The other direction then, maybe? I know, don't split up the party, but ugh, whatever. At this point, I'll split up the party if I bloody want to. Yeah. Get to that corner. Tiber, you come along with the other grenadier. And the healer. Aha! Uh -huh. We apparently ran right past them. I'm on it. That's that's perfect. At least now we have an idea. Uh, Alucard, make your way there. Crow, uh, make your way there. Gail, make your way over here. Location confirmed. Scythia. Make your way here. Double time. Uh wah, game, please run smoothly. I can run the Witcher 3 smoothly ish. But don't exactly think you're higher fidelity than the Witcher 3. Ugh. I know, I know. On overwatch. Talk and handle that. Okay. Uh Gale, run and gun. And make your way over here. That's... That's rather yeah. annoying. Get there, Alucard. Uh, Sergei, get there. How far back did I bloody miss these guys? Oh. Move, move, move! Right, Warden. Get moving. I'm all over it. Tiber. Get moving. On the move. There we go. What was that sound? Oh yes, we're trying to figure out. Moving to Overwatch. Warden, move there. Not a problem. I swear. Right, cool. We do find bloody enemies. There we go. There's the Archon <laughs> leading the leads. Please tell me this is the last ones. <sighs> I swear, if this is not the last ones... Uh, words. Words will be said. Okay. Yes, yes. Rawr, I'm so angry. I got a battle frenzy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pew. Come on. Come on, Tyber. You can do it. Really? At least he had one of them. How does he dodge like that, though? Ugh. I am Reaper. My sword is thirsty. <laughs> What do you think you are, bloody Raiden from, uh, Metal Gear? My thirst. 
to put. I thought there was a way of. Oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being silly. I thought possibly I could have just hit it, but no. Allegedly, counter attack just always works. Okay, do that then. A dark doorway. What? Oh, I killed them all. Okay. We have multiple targets down. Status confirmed. All hostile contacts in the AO have been eliminated. Yay. The gateway is secure. Status confirmed. Commander, we've secured the psionic gateway, and recovery teams are en route to the site. Now it's up to Tigan and Shirt hmm. to figure out what this thing does. Okay, sounds good. Tigan and Xian to figure out what it does. That's yeah, interesting. I am actually wondering what it does. I wonder if it's going to essentially be a link to uh, XCOM the Bureau. Anyway. Hmm. Anyway, let's skip these. I. If you don't mind me skipping the cutscenes, tell me. I just cannot be arsed watching them anymore. Alien artifact we recovered from the field this is... resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long-distance travel, potentially beyond the confines of our world itself, it will take time before we can truly understand the gateway's function. Based on what your team witnessed in the field, Commander, it is clear this psionic gateway provides the aliens with some means of far-off travel. It will be up to you to determine not only how it functions, but exactly where this gateway leads. Okay. New objective added. Yeah, I'll... I'll... In order to analyze the alien Research psionic it. gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first. Command. I really? Orders, Commander. How? What? What? Uh, yeah, leave. Anyway. What upgrades do we need for the shadow chamber? I. Uh, hmm. Allegedly, we need power. Well. Bomb. Ah. Uh, can we cancel this before? No, we can. Oh well, that would have been nice. No, but didn't. Oh. it was too easy. I should have known it was too easy. Uh, oh wait, actually, we can get both. Oh, we can get both. That's so nice. Okay, no, no, that's fine then. Get both, then that's perfect. Thing. We've pushed our current power systems to the limit. Uh, yeah, we don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Hey, Xian, you want to be shocked? There's no one else who can be put on it. Never mind. I'll shock you another time. You want to be double shocked though? I can. I can do that. Yeah. Aren't you so shocked now? <sighs> anyway, whatever. Uh, I am ready to begin on your order, Commander. We'll have a look at that in a wee second. Shadow Chamber in the meantime, though. We need 10 Illyrium Crystals. We only have two of them, unfortunately. What if we go to the Black Market? Will we be able to get them there? Pew, pew. Down to here. The aliens clearly did not intend for this artifact to be found. No, really? Its loss will no doubt be a significant blow to their efforts. What's funny is it was right beside the road as well. Like, literally, right beside the road. Oh well, uh, let us quickly make our way to the black market, and then we will possibly think about taking out one of the events before they happen. I really don't mind them. Faceless in each one of the missions? Meh. Increased costs, I'm already basically, you know, rolling money. Uh, yeah, you can take the corpses if you want. 
Uh, we'll keep the berserk one though. Okay, enjoy. Uh, in the meantime, we want to buy some lyrium crystals, please. Superior conditioning. Uh, fine. You know what? That's perfectly fine with me. Oh, what? Oh, whatever. I am fine with that. I do not care much. Anyway, I am actually going to leave there, so until next time, all the best, and I Commander, hope you enjoyed. The lab is currently idle. As you We're start wasting trying valuable to, time. I, I don't care. We're not going to. Really? 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 Do you want to talk about this? It's an advent data pad. Yes. Whatever. There. Yes. Research yes. the bloody thing if you want. Anyway, as I was trying to say, I'll leave there, so until next time, all the best, and I'll start the. Psionic Gateway research, actually. Yes. Anyway, until next time, all the best.